Hello to everyone. Uh, this video is an updated video in reference to the pineal gland. Um, I've had some good comments and I had some bad comments. And matter of fact, uh, what I was going to do is read some of the comments. Let me see if I can find it. This video is going to be a little longer than I want. I think. Uh, I, I think of stuff right at the at the very last minute. I should have put this up earlier, but uh, let me let me go into some information where I've heard some people come. They would say that man, you know, you're gonna you know make people blind. I'm a doctor, and you know I I know about the eyes, and you know you're gonna make people you're gonna cause people to go blind. And I mean, a lot of times people don't even have any documents that say that the sun causes blindness or cataracts I mean I'm beginning to believe that some of these people that make these off the wall comments are, are just some type of government agent to, to debunk information that, to keep people healthy because you, you, you notice a lot of people of, of these so called high prestigious do not come out with videos to debunk fluoride or debunk vaccinations it's always if you started to, if you start talking about fluoridation and, and vaccines, you're considered a conspiracy theorist. Why don't this? Cons why don't these people that try to say that the sun causes cancer and causes uh, cataracts and all this junk? Why don't you all uh, label them the people that say that conspiracy theorists? Okay, I believe that they're the conspiracy theorists, the ones that practice medicine or practice actually being a physician um, and, and like I said I'm not jumping on all but sometimes you know I have to be a little stern because you, like you just get a little fed up I mean the stuff is fake I've been doing this for like since 2000 the, the, the late part of 2011 um, just just a little over a year so my eyes are stronger I've actually tried to debunk it myself based on me changing my diet as a as a so-called junk food diet. I can still process the food and still have a, a regular bowel movement. I mean, if you want to be if I want to be private about it, I guess that's just a little too much information. But a lot of times the sun helps out with that. If you ever take calcium pills or vitamin D, the body can only process it based in that form in that in that form like a pill only about 30 percent and it still helps with your the, the movement of your bowels so it's just it's just amazing you know what I mean like I said I'm just uh, I'm glad that it that I found out about this information based on not worshiping the Sun but just staring indirectly into the sunset or the morning Sun for health and it's, it's, it's really a mental exercise and that's where the so-called sun worship comes from but people got to realize that Solomon used to stare into the sun he even said it in the Bible oh you can't take that scripture literally but it said it is good he said it is good for the eyes two eyes it didn't say the eye, but now if it said the eye, it would be considered a parable or some esoteric understanding. But he said the eyes to behold. If you look up the word behold, it's it, it's in regular dictionaries. It means to gaze upon, to look at. The light is sweet and it is good for the eyes to behold the sun. It is good for you to gaze upon the sun. And the thing about this, Solomon was very wise. Maybe that was the reason why. Think about it. I mean, he he did his part. And uh, I apologize, my internet is not acting correctly based 
it's like I said, this is an old computer, and I need to upgrade all this stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna still going with this video, uh, and hopefully when this thing lo loads up, I want to read some of the comments uh, based on this pineal gland. And um, the, pineal, the pineal gland was uh, mentioned in Genesis uh, chapter 32 when Jacob was wrestling the angel, which was Christ. And as he was wrestling the angel, he found out something about how much strength he had. And that's why uh, it says in the latter parts of the chapter that he wrestled the angel and he saw God face to face. Um, no one has seen God face to face, but what he's saying is when you look in the mirror, you are looking at the power of the most high. So he found out how much power lays dormant inside his system or in his body. And at that particular time, when he wrestled the angel, he changed his name to Israel. And I want to get to some getting to something big here. When he changed his name to Israel, Israel, the people, the Hebrew people, which I am from the tribe of Judah. We are very powerful people. You can fluoridate the water all you want. You accomplished a few poison people, but you're not going to be able to kill all of Jacob. It's impossible. We, the ones that don't believe that this is sun worship, because I'm going to stand to the sun. There's no scripture that say, I'm going to go to hell, or it's against the law that I can't stay into the sun. Okay, so I'm going to be the, I'm going to stay into the sun and regenerate this gland that's calcified like a rock and get it functioning correctly again. So they can do whatever they want to the water. They can poison with vaccinations all they want. They can throw chemtrails all up in the sky all they want to. Mark 16 says that you should be able to take up surface and any deadly thing you drink it should not harm you. So it's not going to hurt you. Now, let me say this though. You do not deliberately go and drink poison. We know the guy that dried it and he killed a massive amount of people. Well, that's the way the story goes. What's wrong with this thing? Okay, let me find something real quick. I just want to read a few comments, and, and I appreciate the, the the actual, even the 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 um, the negative comments, and I appreciate the the positive responses as well. Um, give me a few seconds here. Uh, what I want to do is read these I want to do it live without it being edited I don't like editing anything one second here And this is just to show appreciation to the views. And like again, I, I always I just want our people, I want people in, in general to really understand that it's bigger than just, you know, views on YouTube. I mean, it's good to see, you know, it's but I'm really not into all that. I don't really care about the views. But I'm I'm going to respect some of these comments. I have to see if I can find some here. Hold on. down to the first part uh, hold up let me see here and I know some people are like oh you didn't mention me and I was one of your first I had to make more because it's like 800 comments 
let's go to and I hope I don't jack his name up Jordan the monster 81 it says yeah I remember I used to stand to a candlelight and for some reason I had super <laughs> oh lord anyway I shouldn't have read that one I'm not going to even finish it let's go to let me proofread this first <laughs> Man, these people let me proofread these before I just start jumping off because I like the name Jordan alright let me proofread it let me go to Ether Bunny Hop E-T-H-E-R Ether Ether I'm in trouble I'm messing up people's names here. Ether Bunny Hop. I think you are a man who only wants to help others. And you also educate others with truth to back up what you speak of. Anyone who can cannot tell this man honestly loves Jesus is blind. Good info. I like this much. As a child, I used to stare at the sun for long periods at a time. And I notice things now. But as a child, I had many abilities that as an adult I lost somewhere along the way so I'm with you on this and also I have never had vision problems ever and thank you uh, Bunny Hop for that comment because um, I've actually used to I stared into when I was a kid I stared into a um, a so called eclipse the teacher grabbed, looked, and pulled my arms down, and you know, because I was like, "Oh, look!" And she was like, "Don't look at it. Don't look at it. You're gonna be, you, you're gonna need glasses in ten years from now." I don't need no glasses. You should see how small this this computer frame, uh, this computer screen is. Uh, let's read David uh, Whiteman comment. I have just looked into the sun for the first time, and I can share you the feeling that just with the conscious of liking to look into the sun I could look directly into the sun without feeling any harm it has blown my mind seeing myself doing so has anyone else noticed the sun like shaking yeah it shakes because what happens is when you look into it it's actually not the sun shaking it's just your pupils how can I put it in perspective? It's like you're doing jumping jacks. So it's strengthening. It's actually strengthening your eyes. So it's going to shake. It's going to move based on it. It's, it's moving up and down, back and forth. It's just like a, it's just an exercise. It's a, actually, it's just a mental exercise and it's helping. It's actually helping the eyes. But let me say this. I'm, I'm going to tell you an experience that I had dealing with this when I kind of like stopped and then I started again and I stopped off and on. When you when you do when you when you uh stare into the sun too long, the only downside that I had was my eyes were blurry. And I'm gonna tell you why though. People are like oh, I told you, you gonna mess your eyes up. No, what happened was it activates your sinus cavities because the same it, it almost like man I got a headache. And it's always up in this area here. You want to feel some type of pressure up in this area because a lot of us again are poisoned so what's happening is the body is trying to release that mess so just continue to do it just continue but not as long give yourself time because when I've done it I did it too long one time and I was like oh my goodness I'm gonna have to delete the video my eyes are blurry I drank some water I got some sleep drank a little bit of wine right I ate whatever except pork and all that junk I don't I try to follow the Levitical laws as much as I can and I'm like that's it and my sugar was low because I didn't have an appetite so what happens is when your sugar drop just get a little you know you know get you a um, one of those if you can't if you don't have a blender get you a naked one of those naked drinks the company I'm not trying to promote them I don't know I don't know them from Adam but get you like a naked drink uh, not the one with the soy in the way because soy is not really good for the body even though if you do stare into the sun 
your body gonna fight off whatever. I don't care what it is. So, but you just you don't want to constantly go up up and down like this. But just get you one of them naked drinks that has the like the fruits and the corn and all that in it. Drink that, get your blood sugar up, and then go out and do it. Because again, my body is sensitive to sugar because sugar diabetes run in my family. Um, a lot of people say, well, it's not genetic. I believe it is because I'm sensitive to it. I'm sensitive to high blood pressure and sugar diabetes. So I have to watch how I do things. You know, everybody's body and anatomy is different. So I understand what you're saying, Dave, about um about the sun shaking because you're looking. You, actually, your eyes are strong, bro, because I had, when I did that, let me tell you, I had a dream, man. I had a dream that I was... Uh, on this real high building, but I don't know how I got, I think I flew up there, and I seen this big fireball come down on my head, <laughs> and I looked over, and I seen these, this big black cloud, and once the big black cloud went past, I seen a bunch of crying parents and dead children, and then I heard on the news that there was some type of earthquake in a country, and I, I'm paraphrasing them, and it's fragmenting in my mind. Right after I had that dream, there was some type of catastrophe, some type of event, earth, earthquake or tidal wave that hit somewhere. I didn't put no videos up at it because, like I said, my computer was acting crazy. I didn't. I, I blew up on somebody and I left everything where it was so I never went to go get my stuff no, Chuck, that's another story but anyway this stuff man really works, let me just make it so I, don't want to, I have a few comments, I'm going to probably have to make another video, I, I want to get as many comments as I, as I can um, Club of None I'm going to read Club of None, this is like 6 months ago it says, brother, brothers here watching your vids telling me how they saw this video, tried it out, and noticed healing almost right away. And when I first, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start, because when I first saw this comment, I really felt, I, I really felt that this is what I was supposed to be doing. Not about the sun, but pushing the Bible and putting things in perspective as respect to the illuminaries okay you can respect them the angels do not want you worship the one the sun don't want you worshiping him the moon don't want you worshiping her okay but let me go ahead and finish because I'm, I'm hyped and i like this comment because it really felt i really felt that i this is what i've read this three times in this comment this, this one of the comments that keep me moving it says one brother back pains were healed along with his blurred and colored vision. Another brother noticed the sun being a good way to get rid of hangover. Shouldn't be drinking that much anyway. <laughs> but anyway, it says not that it's recommended getting hammered, but still. <laughs> also, his lady friend noticed auroras and vivid dreams, visions and spirits, as you mentioned. Shalom, brother, and thanks for the info. And um, and I appreciate that comment, Club of None. Um, it worked. I had some type of neck situation because sometimes I sleep like I'm, you know, all over the place in the bed, you know, tripping. So I've uh, I had turned my light on, left it on all night. Pain was gone within. A day. Most of the time, when you get a crook in your neck, them things hang on for a long time. But when you abuse your body on accident or something, if you do something wrong to the to your body, get you a light bulb, a UV light, one of these here. Let me see if this. Hold on, let me see something. Get you one of these lights here. See that? It got to be a UV light. This is one of the UV. These are the best ones, and they're cheap. And it reserves energy. You don't your bill won't be as high because it's, it's low wattage, but it still put out the brightness. 
because it's actually energy from the sun itself. They they learn how to harness the energy from the actual sun, and it works. It give you energy. It make you it make you more witty. Um, like I say, um, uh, I'm more on point when it comes to information. People would not be able to just lie to you. You would know exactly what they want to say based on what they're saying. Like people will come to you and. Um, the, the, the weird thing about it is you'll feel spirits you won't always see them I've noticed that through the videos um, you'll actually feel when something even bad when it comes down to the weather is going to happen I don't know that's just the, that's just that gland you got to understand that out that people years ago like the Indians and the Mayans the so-called uh, uh, you would call uh, the Mexicans years ago their their foreparents, the Indians, it's them and our people in, in Africa, we knew when it was gonna be bad weather because that gland didn't have all that junk that it has on it now. You can just feel it like the weatherman said it's gonna do this. Nah, let me take a jacket, let me take an umbrella. Then all of a sudden it do what it, what you feel. I mean your bones tell you. When you break a bone, what happens to your bone when it's about to rain? You break a bone in men's and then it aches the next they say a year later it's still eight when you know it's going to rain. Don't you understand that the same power you have is in your brain? It ain't just in your arm. You already you're going to know. God put it in us. The birds know. Dogs know. Animals know. Do you know that when we had that East Coast uh, earthquake, there were so many stories about the animals. Like maybe an hour or two before that earthquake hit, it. They, their animals were jumping up and around, acting crazy. Um, my old place that I used to live, um, a basement apartment, I would have all these, uh, what, what were they called? They were snakes. They were real cute little, pretty little snakes. People think I'm crazy because I love animals and I don't care if it's, I can't kill nothing no more. But anyway, it's some, it was like a red, hey, it had a, a ring, red, ring neck snake. That's what they call ring neck snake. They kept coming in the daggone house. I'm like, why does these things keep coming in my house? And I put, I just grab them, you know, put them in a little container because they have a mechanism on them. They call ring neck snakes that they can let out this nasty odor. That's their, that's their way of, that's they, that's how they fight. And they, they harm this really. And I put the thing outside, and it's back at the window trying to get in. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Like, don't you want to be outside? What you want to be in here with me for? <laughs> so the thing, the reason what he was trying to do, and a lot of them were trying to do, is get away from that earthquake that hit in doing the East Coast, you know, on this East Coast, because I'm still in Maryland. So they, like I said, you know, they had this intuition. When you start dealing with the, when you start dealing with that pineal gland and getting all the jacked up mess off the brain and off that gland, you will realize that you want to see things, you want to understand things that you don't really normally would think that would happen. I'm going to give you another example. And this is, you know, a lot of people don't like to deal with football and all that, but I have some 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 brothers that, that kind of like listen to me at the job. And one particular brother, you know, he's a Redskins fan. And I was telling them, I was like, bro, they first, when they first started the season, they lost like, I think five straight or six straight. And I said, man, they gone all the way. They're going to make it to the playoffs. They're not losing no more games. Lo and behold, that's what happened. I just felt it was like some type of energy. Again, I'm nobody. I'm no magician. I don't want nobody to think that I'm somebody special. No, no. Get that out your head. Nothing like that. I don't want nobody to think nothing of me. Deal with that son. Just praise the most high for it. That he gave you this intuition. That's the way you get it. That's the way... The sun can cleanse your brain, all that mess that's in it based on fluoridation and pollution, uh, smog and uh, chemtrails, vaccinations. These things are working against the body to dumb you down. So when you get the mess off the brain, you can think faster, more fluent. Um, again, I'm not as flu fluent as I want to be, but I'm getting there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I, I was never a talker when it comes down to prudent information but let me get back to these comments because you know I got a big mouth and I can run it so um, one person asks 
And this is like a mediocre negative comment. Loverboy206 says, he asks one question. There's two questions, but it says one question. Are you a Satanist just wondering or are you a Christian? I'm neither one. Um, I'm a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. We have 12 tribes and I am claiming the seed of Abraham from the tribe of Judah. Uh, our people were brought over here on slave boats. Uh, you can read that in Deuteronomy 28. So what, what I've done is I found out the root of the sun itself of how people started to worship the sun. A lot of religions and a lot of these other books are based on the Bible, not the actual King James Version, but the Torah and the Tanakh. Or, and you got to understand that the Septuagint, the Latin Septuagint, and the other Septuagints got their original information from the scrolls, like the Dead Sea Scrolls. So you got to understand that. Um, so I'm, I'm neither one. The Satanists and the Christians are the ones who think it's okay to be Satanist. <laughs> All right. Let me um read some more. Uh, let me read some more. Now, this is a prudent, this is a very wise comment from, man, these names, y'all gonna have to, is Wena, Wena Long, W-E-N-A-O-L-O-N-G. This is six months ago. He wrote, maybe that's part of the reason that they like to hide the sun with chemtrails. Maybe that's part of the reason people traditionally have enjoyed gazing at sunrise and sunset. You're, you're absolutely correct because your body and your mind is telling you something is wrong. That depression feeling. You notice that people try to break their necks to go to the beach. You're wondering why you want to be around the water and the pretty and you, you can't you don't want to leave your vacation because you should feel like that all the time. <laughs> Not based on just the summer and people go crazy. You notice every year it gets worse and worse. It's always people going crazy during the summer, the springtime when they People get wild. Get, that's the energy from the sun. It makes you the way you actually supposed to act. But what happens is when you don't get enough sunlight, if you ever put a if you ever put a dog in a basement with no with no light at all, and when you come home, he's running around acting crazy. Ah, because he need that energy from the light. It's just light. No nothing can grow, nothing can be able to maintain itself without sun. So what happens is they put chemtrails around to dumb you down, to slow you down a little bit, so you can't be able to comprehend and grasp certain information. And that's the that's and that's the situation. Uh, let me read. I'm, I'm looking for some. I'm gonna have to go up. I'm gonna have to go up to the first part of this, to these comments. Um, let me go to some negative comments. One moment. You have a few people that believe in the Gita is one of the books of old and you know, you have so many people that believe that this the Bible was written from another book and this was written from that and this was that. Everybody had their beliefs. But I can tell you this. There is no book that I can relate to, me, that I can relate to that give me my history back. That gives me who I am as a person opposed to being two different continents as African and American. How can you be two continents? Or afro American or coon or black or nigger or negro and all these different by words the Bible put me in perspective on how I understand who I am as a person as a character in the scriptures I am based on those Israelites that 
Moses was with that departed the Red Sea. When the commandments was given to Moses, when Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was on was on the earth, I am the bloodline of that because I can go to the curses and find out that it links to my bloodline. And I tell people in a few other of my videos that that's the reason why the other nations know who we are as people, and that's why they burn crosses doing segregation. They burn the cross to mock Christ because he was put on a cross. How can you call yourself a Christian and burn a cross in somebody's yard? You know who these people are that you brought over here from Jerusalem or Afri from Africa. We were sold into slavery. The Arabs, some of them, I'm not going to jump because I have a few people that I, I have some few friends that are from, from the Middle East. But every nation had a part in the, the the demise in the children of Israel. So let me just say that. All right, let me. This video is gonna be a little too long. I, let me just let me read something else here. Hold one moment here. I'm gonna read about two more, and that's it. If I read all these comments, this this video will be hundred hours long. <laughs> Let me go to something that's recent. Let me see if I can find something that's a little recent. Let's go to E Mystic. E Mystic wrote and said, This is six months ago. I can't get away from six months. It says, you are correct. Putting water in the sun will energize the water, but not create vitamin D. Now, this is the question I would like to ask, E-Mystic. Where does vitamin D come from? If it is not creating vitamin D, where is, how can anything be created without energy? So you got to really just do some research on that and find out where vitamin D comes from. Because why does broccoli have vitamin D. Oh, it's from the soil. I hear that too. So where does the soil get the vitamin D? Oh, it's from the rain. So how does the rain generate vitamin D? <laughs> Every vitamin this is basic understanding. Every vitamin comes from the sun itself, not just vitamin D, not just calcium. Every vitamin there that a plant can have, a vegetable, a fruit can have, gets its energy and its absorption from the sun. Every vitamin, okay? All right, well, this video is 33 minutes long. I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Uh, I wanted to touch base. Let me do this real quick. I can't, I can't just leave that quick. I haven't been on so long. Um, I have to I have to touch this information real quick about Jacob. Uh, a lot of people are like, well, you know, a lot of people don't understand the the background of the word pineal. You have to understand that the world can all, all can only mimic. A lot of times they get the stuff from the Bible anyway, so they have to mimic it, but they just change the dialogue or the way it's spelled. All right. All right. Genesis chapter 32, verse 30 says, and Jacob, Jacob called the name of that place Peniel, right? P-E-N-I-E-L. For I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. His life is preserved because you, you got to realize that he's, Jacob is about to fight wars. He's going to change his name to Israel. If he didn't preserve the Most High, if, if Jacob wasn't preserved at this time and he wrestled that angel, which was Christ, he wouldn't understand how to fight. And he, our people would have just been taken over. So our life and his power has been restored to him for a time. Like it says, it says 
and Jacob called the name of that place. And you know the story. If you read the whole chapter, I'm, I'm trying to just paraphrase and going through it real quick because I don't want this video to be too long. Because I've noticed some people are like, man, your video is long. I don't know if I want to read, you know, go through it. People are very impatient. But what it says here in Genesis 32 and 30 it says, and Jacob called the name of that place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. It says my life. And you gotta understand what the word life means. It's not life here on on this planet. Life means spirit. God breathed the breath of life in Adam. Life. Peniel. Oh, it's different. It's different. It is different. But let me tell you something. They show, I'm going to show you something. They showed this in the movie Spider-Man, right? When the guy was bitten by the spider, he was on a train. This last Spider-Man that he came with is an amazing Spider-Man. He was bitten. He went on a train. Lay down. I'm going to show you something. How the world know how to break down scriptures because they... We're the only ones that be fighting on what this means and what that means. But the, but Satan, no. Let me find something. Uh, I'll use this. I'm going to show you something real quick. Matter of fact, I'm going to use my phone because that's more. That'll suffice. Look, he was laying down, right? Put a, the man, a drunk, put a beer can right here because that's where the pineal gland is. And what happened? A, just one drop of water. Woke him up just like that. What you think that represent? Oh, now he understands his power. Even though he would have understood it anyway. But they have to show you in like like in microcosms. Oh, because they, they know that that gland sits in between the eyes. That's why when you stare into the sun, you may feel ache. That the thing is waking up. Keep doing it. But you're going to scare yourself. I hate to say it because I've kind of like jumped a few times and one of the brothers made a video on here he got a lot of views and I liked it when he was saying that you need to make sure your heart <laughs> eat food the good food for the heart because you may just a, a small hypothetically uh, statement here you may go into the restroom and remember that you went into the restroom like did I do this I already went why am I in here again no you didn't you dreamed it you dreamt it you had it you you actually went in your dream <laughs> because there's a cord it's called a silver cord man this video gonna be long I'm gonna have to touch on this too since I brought it up I'm gonna show you what what's awakening within your spirit do I, I I'm gonna put it out here I'm, I'm gonna put some more information out because it's like I said this stuff links together when you start to awaken the spirit and become more aware it can put a little more stress on the actual flesh and that's why some people would be like look make sure your diet is on point make sure this because I'm going to tell you when you start to awaken that gland what happens is if your diet is not on point and you may have a, a certain ailment with the heart or whatever in this you can throw your alpha rhythms off. You can, you can make. You, and some woman, a uh, young lady, had told me that she was having. I forgot the term that she used. It was a medical term. That she was, uh, man, I can't remember it. Par paralyzed. Some type of. And maybe somebody can comment later on this video, and I'll. Um, say yeah that's what it is she would become paralyzed and I had that happen while I was asleep one time because I, I like I said I gazed too long oh I want to absorb everything at one time like a fool considered that's what I felt at the time after I did it I couldn't move I'm like man what's going on I was felt like I couldn't move and the dream that I was in was so freaking clear like Wow, then you know, and then that's the danger because you don't supposed to be like, oh, I got power, I want to do this, I want to do that, and you forget. Look, who gave you the power? Don't start reversing this sun here, that my angel. You know, so basically, when you what happens is when you start dealing with the sun, you will start to awaken 
or basically the spirit man will be able to you want to understand the spirit man because you have two of you all it's, you have the natural man and you have the spirit man and this can link to one of the titles or one of the videos that I'm going to go into later on why the body needs to rest not, not how the body needs to rest but why the body needs to rest it's, it's, it's in, and it's actually in the scriptures and to give you a small snippet of what I'll go into is that the body needs to rest and why is because the spirit man and natural man the flesh of you comes together like this so when they're together too long this fleshly side is always working it, it, it needs to rest so when you so so there's a cord it's called the silver cord between the fleshly side of you and the spirit so what happens is the spirit leaves but it don't go as far as that cord can withstand the, it'll get too tight to the brush you die you, if it pop you die but usually it will stay within its range it's like a frequency and you can go you can be in you can be in Europe somewhere you may be able to fly around somewhere and lift do things that's so called unnatural like they used to do in the scriptures you can understand it Christ himself knew how to use the spirit Satan know how to use the spirit and what that gland do is and a lot of people like I say know this stuff exists you got all other religions that do a lot of uh, a lot of meditation and all that teleporting and all that stuff is true don't think it ain't real it's real um, some people can vouch for this but that was just a microcosm what I'll go into on why the body needs to sleep and I'll get into that later on but I'm going to end this here this is a long video I didn't know this is going to be that long um, I'll be making more videos this is my life and I'll be doing this for the rest of it